tend to start with very watery, sort of washy colours and then basically just start abstract, you know, and make broad strokes and get a blend of colours and a balance. And then slowly um, the whole thing sort of hones in until I chisel all the colours into a figurative landscape or I start to see a scene happening or make a story. I like doing things with vehicles or journeys and relationships I suppose. It looks a bit like the valleys and but on the journey from the house to the studio I guess there's a bit of that, there's a kind of that sort of landscape that I've seen. So basically my last piece the center part is like a figure, just like the dollar. And uh, instead of a white president, it's a, it's a skull. And that skull represents, for me, the death, but there is the, this reborn process afterward. The title of that series is called They All Look the Same. I used to get that a lot when I was living in Portland. A few people said, oh, those Asians, they all look the same. Then I thought, oh, what if I start dressing everybody look like me? And then they all look the same. <laughs> and just only thing is stationary and doesn't just change is my glasses and yellow tin. And that's why I started the project. And then that's five years ago. Now I have like over 3,000 pictures. I shot in Beijing, Shanghai, Hong Kong, Tokyo, Korea, New York, all this place and just growing and growing and growing. I can't even explain why this is happening. It's just sort of like, it's almost like you build it, they will come sort of mentality, you know? Like you just do it. Even if you mess with your credit cards doing it, even if you have like no money and you're like freaking living off of like canned goods and Simon, it's worth it because that's what it's about, you know, just like just trying to do something that's just more than yourself, you know, it's like, it's like a community thing, you know, it's like a Hawaii thing. Mm -hmm.